welcome to it. This is yet another electric edition of In The Cut on your home of Zep Pop Culture. It's Saturday, 17 hours, so you know the vibes. I'm your host, Sapio Angoma. Now, something interesting that you've already picked up on is that In The Cut does not just give you regular stuff. The content here is incredible because we've brought you rappers, we've brought you singers, we've brought you poets, heck, we've brought you DJs and music producers. But today, we bring you someone different, something different, but still in the music creativity realm today we give you a music promoter and this is a person who is doing incredible things and will be doing even more incredible things later on she's worked with a couple of artists that are big roberto kb she's even worked with Cantu, and she's here gracing the itc stage and guess what her name is tapiwa Welcome to it. This is in the cut right here on your home Zep Pop Culture. Now, as mentioned before, this uh, this person that I have in the studio is not something we're used to. Not the person that we're used to. We're used to having rappers, we're used to having singers, we're used to having producers, DJs. Yeah. But today we have a music promoter. And that's not the fun bit. The fun bit is her name is my name. <laughs> Hi Tapiwa. Hi Tapiwa. Oh! <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> yes. I know. Ah, that. How does that? How does that sound? Like, have you ever met? This is like the first time I'm speaking to a Tapiwa yeah. in person, so of course it's. And so but cool. it's amazing, though. It is because you know why it's so cool on two fronts for me because yeah. not only is it uh, a moment where I'm meeting someone who has my name, yes, exactly. but it's also because I'm meeting someone who has my name who's female. I've never met a male Tapiwa. Seriously. One. And two, every like most people that I've met when uh-huh. they say when I say, oh hi I'm Tapiwa, they'll be like ah Tapiwa is not a female name. I'm like no. You know, the, the weird part is that when I tell people I'm Chapiwa, they'll say it's a male name. Ah, so I'm actually you surprised. You people are problems. Yeah, too much. Wow. Because <laughs> most people say, no, Chapiwa is a male name. I'm like, no, it's not. So it's just some issues because they'll tell me, no, it's a female name. And then I started coming up with the response that I'm always, dude, no, it's not a female it's name. It's not a female unisex. name. And I'm always unisex. there saying, no, it's not a male name. It's unisex. <sighs> So anyway, we are here to officially say it's a unisex It's a unisex name, as you can see. I'm Tapiwa, she's Tapiwa. Exactly. We've killed it. So stop going out there saying No, 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 no. Actually, Tapiwa is a special name. It it is Mm -hmm. a special name. It is a special name. Well, thank you so much for coming here. Thank Um, you, Tapiwa. I I trust we're going to have an amazing conversation. Of course. An amazing conversation already (laughs) off camera. Yes. But then we need to share this with the world. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a music promoter. I'm excited about that because majority of the artists that I have here, as I've already told you. Yeah, you did. Yes, they're always talking about them wanting to blow up, them wanting to make music, and Mm -hmm. them wanting to go places. But then there's always the promoting part of their music that's neglected. Of course. So they're creatives. They do amazing things. Mm -hmm. But pushing their music out there is a bit of a stress. And I I had a conversation with one other person the other time who's an artist. And what they would say is they're so reserved. Actually, I had that person here on the show. Okay. They're reserved and pushing out the, some of their music mm-hmm. as a whole, like an EP or a big project, mm-hmm. because they don't like the idea of their good work not being heard. So okay. they resort to just releasing a single, single and like that, because they're scared that, yo, if I push this entire thing out, the whole going thing to is going to work out. And, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll dive into all of that <laughs> in just a little bit, but for now, we're going to go into your top five music. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm calling this Tapiwa's Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have no okay. idea what happened. <laughs> yeah, course. I'm calling it Tapiwa's Cut because this is your top five songs that are on your playlist. I'm eager to see what uh, a music promoter's playlist mm. looks like. Okay. Considering I'm sure, I- I'm assuming you guys, you have to listen to a lot of music. Yeah, you're right about that, especially actually. Especially from these artists. Too much. It doesn't get exhausting. At some point it does because sometimes you talk to an artist and you tell them, well, I'd love to listen to some of your music. And then they drop you like 20 songs. So sometimes it is because you can't listen to all of them, but of yeah. course you pick maybe two or three to listen to. But then you do with a lot of people. So of course it's exhausting because you keep listening. But again, the amazing part is that these upcoming artists have a lot of talent. Yeah. So of course it's amazing to listen to their piece of work every now and then. Now you strike me as a polite person. So do you ever listen to a horrible song and go like... Mm-hmm. Even as you talk to KB, you tell them, okay, this artist actually has these weaknesses. So would you kindly guide them through? in this way i think they'll get proper guidance all right cool mm-hmm. talking about guidance we're going to guide through exactly okay so we're going to start with your top five yes uh tapi was cut and at number five mm-hmm. we have toela kaira female yes. no surprise there i think because you strike me also as sort of like a 
feminist power woman type of situation mm-hmm. going on. And the reason I'm saying this is because of a conversation we had of uh, one of your idols. <laughs> who's female yes. Well. But then we're going to we're going to talk about that later. So yes. number five is Toyla Kaya. Fair, yes, lover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why do you like the song and the video itself? The video, I feel it's very beautiful. And for the song, it actually astonished me because Toyla by then was still an up and rising artist. I think now she's actually on a certain level. Yeah, yeah and the delivery that she made was really good, and I loved it. Okay. I think she's really been consistent, by the way. I think what's crazy is that all three siblings are good because you'd expect. Of course, and then they are all good in the same art. Yes, yes. Because normally yeah. there's a presenter, there's an artist, no, and then there's this. Them. But them, it's a family thing. They're doing that. It's and an I adorable family. It's a bit of. It's also staring in the direction of fashion as well, mm. which I think they'll do do well. They'll do well. They're actually doing well. Yes. All right, cool. So let's take a look at Toela Kaira with Lover at number five. Nexus Music Music Big B's on it Five, mm-hmm. and we're going to number four this is a relatively new song of course yes. international collaboration mm-hmm. market two with beautiful nights mm-hmm. so why do you like this song well i'm going to first start by saying yeah. i love the performance aspect of him yeah yeah he's, yeah, he's yeah. a very energetic exactly performer, yes except for the part where he has the same <laughs> dance moves he's a choreographer <laughs> But whatever, he's an energetic <laughs> yes. performer and he pulls in the crowd. Uh-huh. So, so of course, nights. for Beautiful Nights, uh, I think what I love the most about the song is that that was an international collaboration kind yeah. of song. And he still maintained his sound. Oh yeah, true. Mm-hmm. He did. Yes. The only thing I don't like about that song is AKA's verse. Why don't you like it? He didn't put effort. Have you heard AKA's collaboration? Mm-hmm, I have. Yeah, <laughs> and um, some colleagues of mine would agree that the only thing um that he did mm-hmm. he cheated aka cheated because he played on the fact that this is a south african artist and mm-hmm. international collaboration yes and then this artist now speaks our language mm-hmm. so like, oh my god aka he's saying oh, yeah. you know yes, that kind of thing i heard that but part. then if you listen to the song like his verse on a sort of i know aka to be this big artist mm-hmm. level and of there's course you've nothing heard there he really didn't really 
<laughs> but anyway, it's quite a fun. It's a beautiful song nonetheless. It is. And just um, like its title. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Yes. True. So let's take a look at uh, Beautiful Nights, Mark 2 featuring AKA at number four. Bondo. Eh, yeah, Chan Muntuanj. Yeah, man. I, I, I heard you in Joburg. Kade Wangu. I bet. So let me pull up on you. All right, see you soon, Maji. I bet. Bless. Kalandanya Music Promotion. in the building again i lost everything i got up and i'm building again i thought it was over but you see i'm back in my element always moving forward the quite in new government lisa feel bella my palo ya tua kwata teti umpoke munina na kupapata the smile on my face the peace in my heart before my kung fu muna le lorine it's about to be a good night na mood is right all right i think it is vale go my vote to chabe bango no it's about to be a beautiful night the mood is right. I think it is vale ko mavu to chabe pango no. Nomba le to wata la 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 la. Nomba le to wata la 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 la. Nomba le to wata la 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 la. Nomba le to wata la 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 la. And I'm gonna be the best chap. I'm not here for a long time. I'm just here for a good time So when I pull up, just make sure that my champagne is cold Ni pasa ko more vibes Ni pempa ko more light The hunger for all of the lights deep in my soul The pull up the range Shake to Chicago's Rolex diamonds and gold Yeah, yeah it's a brand new day, aka Dimo LSK, Holo Kofala, Maki 2, that's the Godfather, you know? Ways it's about ways. to be a good night, the mood is right, I think it is vale ko mavu, no chabi pango, no. It's about to be a beautiful night, the mood is right, all right, I think it is vale ko mavu, no chabi pango, no. So at number three, we've gone through four, five. Mm -hmm. We're going to top three now. Three, yes. But before we get to top three, something that blew my mind mm -hmm. is you're not a fan of sneakers. Yeah, I actually, I think a lot of people actually wonder why. Okay, I'm going to make it this clear. I like sneakers. Maybe I just don't have that much love for them. And because I just like them, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really know exactly what brand this is. But if I see something nice, I pick it. So I have some collection, but I don't know what their names are. I just know they look nice when I wear them. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're at mm -hmm. Izu stores. <laughs> yes. got this wall. Yeah. A bunch of other sneakers elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But then you say when you see something nice, you like it. So if you yes. take a look at what's behind us, uh -huh. what's you the one thing to... you pick? That, looks that I feel looks yeah. appealing to me. That purple one. Purple. Uh -huh. The purple base. Yes. Are you talking about this one? What's its name? No, no, no. The no. one that is. So yes. it's the the Jordan ones. I need to know these things. Yeah, you, no, How come really? I don't really know them. Not really. You don't need to know them. <laughs> But uh, those are pretty good kicks. Yes, so when I see something that is attractive when it comes to kicks, I know this is the one and I need it. Ah. But maybe because I don't really have that much love for them, I don't really know the brands very well. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So typically, what does a, how does a music promoter dress? 
Mm, I don't it's think supposed to be like in a formal type of setup, like you. Actually, today. most of them would dress up in some sort of entertaining way, where maybe there's some ripped jeans and stuff ah. like that. I do too sometimes, but it depends on that day's mood. So. Okay, yeah, cool. I guess mm -hmm. if you depends on where you're going. Probably, yeah. Music. And maybe also because I do various things. It's not just basically music ah. promotion. So I won't look like a promoter all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Chill. Oh, yeah, chill. Now back to the playlist. Uh, number three. Who's on your number three? Who's on my number three? We talked about to Toxic by Bobby East. And Kanti. Vanilla Dad. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Why do you like this song? Why Other than the fact that uh, every single female in the nation Are you sure they all like considers it? Considers Bobby East uh, as a heartthrob and he's played it out. I think at this point he's just like, uh, you know, whatever. I think I'm okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got, but then, mm -hmm. funny enough, I've gotten the chance to actually meet Bobby East yeah. and have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. He's a really chill guy. He is. He, he he doesn't strike, he doesn't, like, in, when you see him, you think, ah, as in there. Yes, but, then when but you actually when him, you meet him and talk to him, you like realize it's really actually something different. Whatever, yes, which, yes, yes. which I guess would piss a couple of guys off, because that's the thing, like, dude, why are you perfect? You're not supposed to be perfect, you're supposed to have something <laughs> wrong with you. That is not going right. Yeah, something has to be wrong. But anyways, uh, Toxic, why do you like this song? Well, I like Toxic because of the message it delivers, first of all. I'm mm -hmm. not going to talk about the message, but I love the message anyway. Yeah. And uh, maybe the feature went well with Cantu. Cantu is a very good vocalist. And yeah. this is the person you've also worked with. Yes, yes, yes. She's really good. The time I worked with was the time she was doing songs like, uh, there was that song Honey featuring Mark II. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my favorite, so I remember it very well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yes. So yeah, Toxic is my... Actually, it's one of my favorite songs. I think it's just that one song that I play every day. Everyone has that playlist that they play most of the time. So Toxic is one of them. And because I like the singing part of Bobby East as well, yeah. away from the rapping part. So I love the fact that there was a singing part in that song. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Toxic comes in at number three. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a look at it as we drive all the way down to yes. your number one. So let's take a look at Toxic by Bobby East at number three. going through Tapiwa's cut, uh, the top five songs that she likes. Well, now number two. I'm going to do something real quick right now. Here's the thing. If you can figure out something about the entire list that I always talk about on the show, mm -hmm. one thing, just one thing about this list that seems unique, comment in the comment section down below and you can get to win a free ticket to watch any movie of your choice that at Stakeliko SK. Now the thing is, 
Spider-Man No Way Home is out now, so you might want to guess right on what this list is has the unique thing about this list, and you can get to win a ticket to go see <sighs> No Way Home at Star Kenico Cinemas. Our friends there will give you that ticket. Now, <laughs> five, four, three, we're going to two. Okay. This is a person that you have worked with yes. and you have a relationship with. Mm -hmm. So Roberto at number two. Of course. It's, it's obvious, it's not, it's not a surprise that he's made it to the list itself. Okay, why isn't it a surprise? <laughs> uh, because you've worked with him uh -huh. and goodness, he's an amazing artist. Of course he is. He's one of the best artists he we have is, in the country. Yeah. Um, he's been doing it for a very long time mm -hmm. and his brand has evolved. He is big not only in Zambia but across, you know, yes. neighboring countries as well. Mm -hmm. And I think he still has a lot of life in him. Of course. And he's going to do amazing things. And he's also very popular on like the the, the internet space. Like he people is. stream his music yes, they like do. crazy. Because of the support that he gets, first of all, from his people. Yeah. Because it obviously starts from your people before it actually goes, goes out anywhere there. else. Yes. Well, cool. So why is beautiful on number two? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think the message, for me, I think the song is basically the message that comes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the message that is in beautiful is uh, really good because he's a man that is appreciating a woman for actually being an impact in his life. So I love that for that fact. And Roberto, probably because you said I've worked with him, away from working with him though, I actually love his his entire being as a human being. <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love how he handles his art, first of all, his music, as well as the family aspect of it. Yeah, because I'm not only close to him, but his wife as well. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I love how he delivers that. And that's why Beautiful is my favorite. The video, too, is actually yeah. my favorite because it actually did very well. It was on the... Um, I think that was Stress Africa Top 10. Mm -hmm. It stayed on number one for a month straight. Mm -hmm. And that, that is good? that is huge for Zambia. Yeah, yes, is that is. Good? yes. Well, we'll let you decide if you haven't seen the song yet. Here is "Beautiful" by Roberto at number two. two. It's a brand new day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Roberto. Only Queen is say never let go. Girl, never let anything come between. Only Langi say chalo chalo. Beautiful mama, wonderful, wonderful. You are wonderful mama. I'm calling you away. Hey, on I need a change up because of you mama. I'm calling you away. Hey, on I need a change up because of you mouth. Rather be alone. Cause you like a baby can't move on. Cause you're my favorite song. I wanna play you all night long. Yeah, but the man better come for Story is easy because it's security. In it, the man vela had to be it. That we don't say who can eat and a sweetie. But in my wanga, who my menya, who my menya could be boom boom bea. Famine in any man vela, the man vela when you are there. Beautiful mama, wonderful, wonderful. You are wonderful mama. I'm calling you away. Hey, on I need a change because of you mama. I'm calling you away. Hey, on I need a change because of you mama. I can die for your love. I can take a bullet for you. I'm gonna fight for your love. I can catch a grenade for you. For you alone, for you alone, I can go against the world. For you alone, for you alone, I can go against the world. Put in my wanga, um, my man, ya, um, my boom, boom, bea. For me, ne, ne, ni, man, vela, ni, man, vela, when you are there. Bye, your bumps. <laughs> now, the reason the, the number one song is one I already love. Okay, so at least we are on the same page. Yeah, of we're being definitely on the same page. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. it being number one because H man, your maps. Ah, your maps delivered on that one. He did. 
did. He did. Too. Yeah, he did. What, what's crazy is uh, most people. Oh no, no. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it's because I've got a tapio <laughs> on the show today, but I have a lot of stories to tell. Mm. In, I didn't, in the beginning, mm. I didn't think Pick It Up is the it's message is what it, it means. It is, yeah. I didn't know it meant like it was some inspirational. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You, when you fall down, you need you to need get to back up. You need to find a way of coming Ooh, back up. I thought it was a club song. That's a dancehall thing. Well, you don't even know what like, happened. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. go down and come up. That's what I thought. I was like, hey, it's coming back. I'm okay yeah. to be. So that's what I thought mm-hmm. until I. It's it's actually. It I think the creativity is that the message is touchy, but then again, the song is danceable. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, mm-hmm. and they did a good job with my friend. Too much. I, actually, in the beginning, people. Yeah, I saw a lot of posts circulating on social media just when the song was out, yeah. saying what was Mike Banner doing on that song. Because whoa, it doesn't look like he put any impact. But initially, with time, people actually got to realize that his verses yeah, actually well, did a lot of justice exactly. to the song. Exactly, they did. Exactly, <laughs> and it's an amazing. Sometimes song. I sit down and think, if he did not put him, who else was he gonna put? But I think Mike Banner suits very well for that part. Yeah, because it was just the, the the way it sounded, mm-hmm. the sound was unique. Yes, it, it and it, it's actually weird that it's just the same words. That I think it's like Mark II's Dancing. Mm-hmm. It's just the same verse that comes over and over, and we still love it. <laughs> Guys, Mark has the same dance moves. <laughs> and we still love him. <laughs> I want to go to another show where he performs. I want to see if he's going to do it. When there's the another show, I think you and I should get tickets. Yeah, we should get tickets. We should go, go there. Mark he needs to prove us wrong. Yes, like, okay, he's here. Let's see what he's going to do. Because, ah, no, man needs a choreographer. Anyways, love you, Mark too. But for now, we're going to love Your Maps more because we're going to take a look at the Pure's number one song. Number and that one. Is Your Maps featuring Mike Burner. Pick it with up. Pick it up. Go down, 
pick it up Chile pull it in other words, rip it up You the only one that's with it now But like it up if you, you original Style right now, let's hit them up Shoot them down with no criminal Never look at me, wanna see me now But like it up if you, you original Welcome back to it. It is in the cut. The station is Diamond TV. The show is in the cut. The vibes is me okay. and her. As opposed to <laughs> Pios. And we're bringing the heat. It's actually uh, just like the same person. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what's going on. <laughs> but then again, this is the show that brings you the next generation of artists and creatives mm. in this country because these people are brilliant. And all we're trying to do as Diamond TV is give them a platform where they can express themselves and show what they can do. Yes. That's the entire point of it. But then also in the vein that we're having artists who come and promote their music as well, we're looking at people who promote them and their stuff. That's why we have mm -hmm. to pure Matente in the building. Uh, no, that's not how you pronounce your name. How do you pronounce your name? Tapiwa Matente. Matente. What tribe is that? Bemba. I guess that explains a lot because I can't speak them. I can't speak Bemba either. Ah, but Ish, no. I know. It's okay for me not to speak Bemba because I'm Kunda. You can't speak Bemba. That's Imagine. just... You should be embarrassed that you can't speak Bemba. I actually am, but I'm, I have to say it because in case you tell me something in Bemba, yeah. I'm not going to speak it right. I probably won't say anything uh, because no, no, but okay. I'd, I'd rather they trash you <laughs> I'm just going to stay out of it. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not sure where I miss the Bimba part. But actually, my parents actually do speak Bimba. My siblings do speak Bimba. I just don't know what happened to me, though. So I can speak? speak, but every time I speak, someone will be like, your Bimba is pathetic. So I stopped. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, story mm -hmm. for another day. Yeah. Stories we're going to hear we're now. We're going to come and talk about it in mother tongue. Something like that will come. <laughs> mm. For now, yeah. no. <laughs> but the story that you're going to give us now is a day in the life of a promoter. What exactly does your day look like as a music promoter? When what exactly do day? I encounter every single day? Yes, as a music promoter. Because this is the first time I'm meeting someone who's Seriously? promotes music. Yeah, yeah. And I'm eager to know how that goes. Okay, so on a daily basis, I expect to probably meet an artist or get a call from one or two, Yeah. guide one or two, because some of them don't really call and should work with them closely. Some will just call and say, well, I've got a song out. Would you kindly listen to it and tell me something? And it ends there, so somewhere it's, like it's that. They want criticism or your opinion? On the they song. want your opinion over the song. Yeah. Oh. They would know probably it's good, but they just want you to, to speak about, about it. it. Yes. So you listen to it. Sometimes, you know, you get really busy and maybe that text comes in when you're really, really busy with work because my work is also really involving. Yeah. And someone texts. Yeah, some of them have had some issues with them where they'll call again later on and say, oh, so you didn't listen to my song because I'm an upcoming artist. You actually talk to the established artists and I always make it clear to them to say everybody is busy sometimes. It's not really the title that you hold because you are Mac 2 and so I'm going to listen to your song right there and then if it comes at the time that I'm busy maybe I'm not going to see the text or see it later on and say oh he yeah. actually texted like that so yeah but obviously on a daily basis you have to guide someone you have to read a message of someone complaining to you about how probably a DJ treated them and you have to be there maybe giving some advice on how they should have handled it because I'll tell you what though a lot of upcoming artists problems I yeah. think 90% of them, you've come across a lot of them, I guess. <coughs> Most of their problems are, I took my song to radio, I sent it to a DJ, the DJ didn't play it. Or I went to this studio, I communicated with this uh, producer and he didn't really give me yeah. a listening ear. I wanted a feature from this artist and did not really respond to my message. Some of them, yeah, they do get that on a natural base, but for some, most of the times it's just unprofessionalism mm. because even for the way some of them text me it's obviously in a way that i'm just like okay this one i'll just leave the text be yeah, because some of them will just text you just their song maybe it, it actually comes as audio so you yeah. don't even know who the artist is their name you don't want me to guess who you are mm -hmm. i think the first time we talk there was some introduction of course yeah. so i'm not just going to guess okay this is the pure from diamond and you're not just going to guess it's the pure the promoter mm -hmm. yeah but most of them don't really have that and you know for established artists maybe he's really busy has a lot of messages a lot of it's easy to skip it even right, cool. for you as a presenter that yeah. would happen yeah it is mm -hmm. now we're going to go into maybe some tips that you can give mm -hmm. artists out there yes. on how they can approach 
sort of management mm -hmm. or promoters or even their favorite artists so they can help them of course yeah uh, a little bit later but now what i'm interested in knowing is the industry itself mm -hmm. the music promoters industry what does that look like just basically help us on how we can run mm -hmm. the whole management those same um, creatives that you say that have passion that it's okay you're really good at talking at people i think you can negotiate stuff very well come here we could actually have those mm -hmm. some of them do have the creativity but they don't really know how to run around it some people will just sit here and say, I think if I was in that position, I'll do so, which means they do have that creativity, but they don't have the platform that can help them air those views. So if we would have that, I think it would really help us. So are you, Tapiwa, saying mm -hmm. that to some extent, already established artists, or let me just broaden it and generalize it. Artists. In our country, you're saying most people already established in a particular field are very reserved, let me just be explicit, stingy, with the information that they've acquired over the couple past couple of years and they do not help other people learn because if you talk about stuff concerning workshops yeah. and maybe mentoring mm -hmm. situations there isn't so much of those happening there isn't so much and i don't really feel like they're stingy with their knowledge because i've actually gone to a lot of them and surprisingly even those that i've met for the first time actually do render their knowledge yeah. they'll give you and you're like why didn't i know this person like years back i was probably going to achieve this if i had this knowledge so i think they are not <coughs> really stingy with their knowledge but maybe they also do not have a platform or rather how they can just air it out yeah. to people that it would really be relevant to yeah, I think so. All right, cool. So mm -hmm. moving right along into you having to uh, promote some music for upcoming artists, mm -hmm. people who haven't been been at the top yet. Exposed, they're getting yes. there. They're not exposed. And also worked with bigger artists such as KB, Cantu, mm -hmm. Roberto even. Is there a specific, is there a difference in the way promoters, of music promoters handle difference. those guys? Uh, I think not really. I thought your question was going to be, is there a difference in the experience? In the experience? <laughs> no, obviously. But then now I'm thinking to myself, if, yeah. if, if Tapiwa comes to you with, yo, I'm a, I'm a rapper, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I want to start out, I want you to push my music. Yes. Is there a different way in which you would sort of push my music compared to the way you handle a bigger, more established artist? What What is the disparity, if there is any? no there isn't any different on my aspect i think maybe for other promoters it is different i'm not speaking for everybody but for me myself there isn't any difference i just keep the same level of things the only difference in the experience is that or maybe in the artist experience is that for established artists work seems to move faster than the upcoming artist obviously because let's say i'm working with you an uprising artist yeah this is when you're starting your music and you give me your music. Okay, Tapio, I want you to help me out with this music. I want you to deliver it to radio and make sure that it's playing. I'm like, okay, fine. And then here's Roberto who gives me his song. When I take the song to any radio station, they already know the name Roberto. So it's going to be easy for them to advantage him over the upcoming artist. So obviously it needs more effort for the upcoming artists for there to be just proof that, okay, they're really good enough and they needed this spot. So that is why maybe for upcoming artists it takes a bit of time you find that you're still pushing to just get a certain level maybe in a month of yeah. which maybe for an established artist within maybe two weeks you'll be at the level that you'd push an upcoming artist for a month but of course with consistency it's still the same result all right cool mm -hmm. so as we wrap up uh, i did promise people that you would give sort of your tips on how they can or well, artists can mm -hmm. Uh, correctly approach music yes. promoters and even people who can help them push their music further. Yes. Could be management, could be artists they aspire to mm -hmm. be. But then we'll do that after a quick break. But then for now, as we wrap up our conversation mm -hmm. here, I would like to know your thoughts, general thoughts on the music industry as a whole. There's so much going on. Uh, we've had artists who've been around for the longest time, yes. and we also have artists who are springing up and coming into the scene. We have record labels coming up we have a lot going on so what are your general thoughts on just the music industry mm -hmm. in Zambia well I'll start first by saying I think in as much as upcoming artists don't know they're really special sometimes they just don't know how to run around things but I'll tell you <coughs> what if you get like uh, say a bunch of established artists you put them here you get a bunch of upcoming artists you put them here I'll tell you that you're going to discover genuine 20 talents 
from the upcoming side than the established side. Upcoming artists are really talented. Most of them that I've come across, some of them you listen to their music and you're like, oh, there's someone like this and they're really good, but nobody knows about them. So the music initially, the music industry is going to grow. That's what I think. And I think it's really picking up like at the level where we are right now. Back then, you know, it would be really difficult to just probably see a song that yeah. is Zambian on Trust TV or on Trust Africa or maybe on MTV Best. But now it's become like a trend where we even see some upcoming artists or some artists that are not so well known. You find that maybe they share their link of saying the song is going to premiere on MTV and they're like, oh, wow, this is really good. Because for names like Roberto, you know, it's just something, oh, okay, this is what he does. But when it's someone who's up and coming, you're like, oh, wow, this is really good. So, yeah, I think it's doing very well. We're actually going up there. Well, Tapiwa, thank you so much mm -hmm. for thank those you, thoughts. Thank you, Tapiwa. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll, you'll give those tips in a bit. But for yeah. now, we're going to play a game that I like to call mm -hmm. hashtag cut it. Now, you know how it goes. You definitely know how it goes. Um, I'm going to explain it to her so she gets it right. I need to get it. <laughs> Here's how it goes. So okay. I'm going to give you a pair of two artists. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, two pairs of artists. Okay. Eesh, she's on. <laughs> Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to pick which of the two you would cut off and which one you'd keep for reasons best known to yourself. Okay. Okay. That Any sounds questions? cool. Any questions? Because <laughs> it does get messy. It does. So initially I just need to pick the pair. No, no. One. I'm going to give you a pair. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, okay, this one versus this one. And then, and I then pick you one. have to pick between and the two. And There's no explanation whatsoever. No, you don't. Okay. Uh, well, it depends. Uh-uh. There's Here's no how depending. It there's, always, there's, always a, there's always a loophole. I created this game. I get to have loopholes. Yes. How I, the loophole that I've put mm -hmm. is if the, the choice that you've picked yeah. blows me away, mm -hmm. I have to ask why. Okay. If it's uh, pretty obvious, then I'm like, you know, okay, it's okay. Whatever. It's fine. I probably know why. So okay. move on to the next one. So you good? Okay, I'm good. All right, guys, she's game. So let's get right to it. Yes. First pair, right? Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Burner Boy. Okay. Versus someone you like, Bataranki. Who are you cutting off and who are you keeping? I'm cutting off Banner Boy and I'm keeping Kataranke. Don't look at me like that, Tapiwa. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> yeah. Ah! Uh huh. You must be crazy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So why? 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 What do you mean why? Oh, why? Like, okay, why, from why your why? eye, I can tell you you're a huge Banner Boy fan. Mm hmm African giant. Okay, yeah, explain to me why. Why 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 would you Do cut I need off to explain boy? why would I cut off Better Boy? Yeah. I think for the simple reason that I love Patranki's art more than Banner Boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. It it doesn't help <laughs> if I tell you that Burner Boy has got a Grammy. I'll still pick Patranki who doesn't have a Grammy. Fine. <laughs> Fine. We move on. Yes. Let's bring it closer to home. Mm -hmm. Cool? Yeah, cool. Um, here we go. Your maps? Mm -hmm. Versus. <laughs> <laughs> you won't put me in that critical situation. <laughs> yeah, yo, I told you it gets messy. I'm so going to run away from street. this show. <laughs> it gets messy in this shit and you want. No, 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 you're not mm -hmm. running away. You're not okay, going so we're talking about your maps versus. Your maps versus Roberto. Hoi keeping, hoi cutting off. Why are you making this thing really difficult, Tapiwa? Huh? Why are you making it difficult? Who are you keeping? Who are you cutting off? Uh, okay. This is hard because both of these guys are my favorites and they literally do nearly the same thing. But I'm going to keep Roberto in cut off your mouth. <gasps> mm -hmm. And I'm still shocking you. <laughs> and you're not going to ask me why. Oh! <laughs> Oh, but I am going to ask no, you No, you won't. Why? <laughs> oh, in the beginning you told me you're not going to ask me why on every If it shocks me, mm -hmm. I'll ask why. Why does this one shock you though? It's your maps. And it's Roberto. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's your maps. And it's Roberto still. Oh boy, your maps. <laughs> Eve, man. Uh. <laughs> 
stop it. All right, all right, I'm fine, fine. Roberto. Want, because this one is a bit sensitive, mm -hmm. it's closer to home. Yes. Uh, you you would want to keep your opportunities of working with these people. Yeah. So we'll just leave it. No, like not that. really that. Oh, no. But anyway. No. Yeah, I think if it's not, then you might as well just tell I'm me. I'm not going to tell you why. But then the fact that I still picked your maps number one over Roberto number two in my top five is okay. So yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. Fine. Yeah. Tapiwa, thank you so much for playing this game with me. You're uh, welcome, Tapiwa. <laughs> but now we're going to take a quick break and when we're back, Tapiwa mm -hmm. uh, obviously can't sing. Oh, oh she can't, you can't. Right? I can't sing. And you're not going to put me in any position for singing. Because I'm coming at this up like, is this the girl who's been criticizing our yeah, music? Like, she can't even she sing. Can't even, she doesn't even know the thing. <laughs> All right, so, so you're not going to sing. What you're going to do is rap. No, you're not going to rap. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is when we get back, you're going to give these people some of your tips on okay. how they can approach management, approach mm. music promoters so they can best sell themselves better. Okay, we're good with that. Sell the music. So don't go anywhere in the cut. We'll be back after this. Hey, my name is Tapiwa and I'm here to give three tips on how artists can run their music. So the first part is the delivery of the music. When a song is out, most of you just text it to the DJs or just send it in whichever way. I think the professional way is, especially if you're an upcoming artist, please make it a habit to visit these TV stations or radio stations and go and deliver the songs personally because sometimes the phones, well, it's not everybody that checks everything in their phone because these people get really busy. Number two, the way you approach the, the bigger artists, sorry. So with established artists, most of you want features from established artists. And I think the first thing that you're supposed to do is approach them in the most professional way possible, which is obviously give them your name, do some sort of introduction of yourself. Don't just leave your song there. Everybody, even the established artists are supposed to do their introduction so that I get to know who I'm speaking to because Roberto might drop his music and I do not know his number, so how am I supposed to guess it's him? Give your name, a short biography of yourself as well as your music so that they get to know who they're dealing with. Number three, respect DJs as well as TV personalities because these are the people that help you push your music way more than even ask the promoters because even for me as a promoter for me to put your music out there I need to have a good relationship with DJs I need to have a good relationship with media personalities so if you do not respect these there's no way that they're going to get your music those were my three tips <laughs> And here is a bonus tip. Make sure you watch In The Cut every single week on your home of Zip Up Culture. Same time, same place. And especially if you're an artist or if you love the idea of artists who are coming up as the next generation of creatives in this country, this is a show that was created for, for that same reason. Because we're exposing these people and we want their crafts to go international. So continue supporting this, this show, continue supporting this channel and ensure that these people get what they deserve. I'm Tapiwa Ngoma. This has been another amazing edition of In The Cut. I will see you next week.